Well, the Oscar nominations were announced this morning, but first... We're going to look at the <laughs> movies that are opening this weekend. Live at 4 movie critic Will Loper is here with the Loper Report. Hi, Will. Hello. Yeah, so it might be the middle of award season, but that doesn't mean we still don't get some new movies opening. Although, after seeing what they are, maybe you should stick to the Best Picture nominees. Ice Cube and Kevin Hart are back for another ride-along. The first film had Kevin Hart's character yelling and annoying Ice Cube's cop character as they took down some criminals. What about it? Tell me what about it? This time around, though, Kevin Hart's character is yelling and annoying Ice Cube's cop character as they take down some criminals. Ah! Lose him! Hold on! Are you signaling? It is a force of habit! Ride-along 2 is rated PG-13. I'm stepping up. You wanna get back? I'm stepping up. For kids, Norm of the North is releasing in hopes to become the next Ice Age. Humans are moving here now. Look, from Florida. <laughs> Norm the polar bear and his loving friends travel to New York City to stop humans from invading his Arctic home. Norm of the North is rated PG. And finally, director Michael Bay's latest film, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, is opening. We have no jurisdiction in this country. We're not even supposed to be here. Losing initiative. Stand down! The film is based on the 2012 attack on the American compound in Benghazi and the six military operatives who defend it. If you don't send our support, the Americans are going to die. 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi is rated R. That film takes sides, or is it supposed to be right down the middle? Uh, it might be a little pro-patriotism, so... But it's Michael Bay, so I, regardless, there'll be lots of explosions. Yeah. All right, <laughs> speaking of explosions... Yes. The Academy Award nominations announced today. That's right. So there weren't any big jaw-droppers. I mean, best actor is kind of the ones we, we already saw coming, of course. We had Michael Fassbender for Steve Jobs, Brian Cranston and Trumbo, Eddie Redmayne, The Danish Girl, Leo DiCaprio, The Revenant, who is the favorite to win, and Matt Damon, The Martian. Anyone that might have slipped in there was Will Smith for Concussion, mm -hmm. but other than that, uh, it seemed to be pretty what they were expecting. All right, uh, let's look at the Best Actress category. Best Actress, we've got Kate Blanchett for Carol, Brie Larson for Room, Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, Sarah Sharona for Brooklyn, and Charlotte Rampling in 45 Years. What's your best guess there? I think Brie Larson for Room is going to take it. She just won the Golden Globe, of yeah. course, and she's still the favorite to win for that as well. Who should win? Who should win? I say Brie Larson as well. Okay. So, yes. okay. <laughs> yep. All right, how about Best Picture? Best picture. We have eight nominees this year that can get up to ten, but they did eight this year. So we have Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road, Room, Spotlight, The Big Short, The Martian, and The Revenant. You're probably the only person I know who's seen them all. <laughs> yes. Yes, and Spotlight is the favorite to win. Of course, The Revenant just won the Golden Globe, but how much of a predictor that is for the Oscars, I don't think it's that great. The Revenant so. has the most nominations, though. That's it right. 12 yes, nominations. it leads with the most nominations. Okay, uh, how about some upsets? Upsets of Jacob Tremblay, Michael Keaton for actor, Ridley Scott for director, as well as Tarantino for The Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight kind of got shut out of a lot of categories. I was kind of surprised it didn't get nominated for original screenplay. Tarantino is usually pretty much a lock in the screenplay category. Um, but other than that, it, it was pretty much what people were expecting. Um, best pick, I, maybe Inside Out, I would have liked to have seen a best pick nominee. I mean, Toy Story 3. Got Best Pick nominee. Yeah, you like Inside so, Out a lot. Yes, it was nominated for Best Animated. Exactly, right. and it's probably probably going to win that as well. And there's been some pushback this year that more and more actors and actresses of color were not nominated. That's you right. mentioned Will Smith in Concussion. He got passed over for, the, for Best Actor. Yeah, kind of the, the lack of diversity people are a little upset about in the nominees. Um, Alejandro Iñárritu is kind of the only, perhaps, uh, nominee that's uh, not white that's being nominated. So we'll find out February 28th. February 28th. So that's Oscars right. Are handed out. Yep. All right, Will. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. Will. You're off to Hollywood. I am to my own award show, the Crick's Choice Awards. So. Oh, we'll have to talk to you yep. about that when you get back. Yep. Have a good time. Yep. Thank you. We'll be right back.